Hi, how are you, Mary? Hi, how are you? Doing good. I'm Cynthia from the School of Nursing. All right, let me turn up my volume. I think we're just the only two people here. Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia, what school are you with? I'm from the School of Nursing. Okay. I work with Jose. Okay. And how about you? What school are you from? I am at Sam Houston State University in um, Huntsville, Texas. It's like about 40 minutes north of Houston. Oh, okay, nice. Expecting a few more people to be here, but what session are you moderating? Um, moderating Jose session. So it's, okay, yeah. Others oh, say, and there's six people are starting to join. I can put on my headset. Good morning. Hello. Just testing my headset. We'll give everybody a chance to uh, join. I see some people um, still joining the meeting and we'll get started shortly.
Hi, Mary, how are you? Sorry, I muted myself. I am well, how are you? I'm doing all right, hanging in there like everybody else. I know it. We still have people joining, so I'm like looking at the participant number, so we'll get started. In a few okay, minutes. I was about to say, I hope I'm not the only one here. <laughs> no, you're not. We've got about 31 people, but we'll give it another minute or two before we get started. All right, good deal. Thank you. All right, Christy, do you think it's okay to go ahead and start? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, I just wanted to jump in and thank everybody for agreeing to be a moderator um, this year at our first ever virtual um, NAGAP Summit. I'm excited to see all of your faces and um, we'll just get uh, going with some uh, technical information. And um, I just wanted to say thank you though very much for uh, helping us with this year's uh, summit. And um, I'm excited to see everybody. All right. Good morning, everybody. Just to chime in and piggyback off of Mary, um, on behalf of the education committee um, for the conference, we wanna thank you guys for agreeing to speak um, at our conference and um, lead sessions. We are excited about our first annual virtual session. Um, we pray that everything goes well. We will um, thank you for your commitment, your dedication to NAGAP and your willingness to help us serve and still provide professional development to our membership. So um, we hope that all of your questions are answered today. Christy will kind of lead us through everything. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the chat box and we'll kind of circle back around to those questions and answer them as needed. Again, thank you. Alrighty. All right, so we basically just wanted to get everyone together to give a brief overview of the NAGAP uh, Gym Summit virtual platform and allow you to ask any questions like Naranda said. Um, so first, you should have received an email from NAGAP. It would have come from info at nagap.org and it would have been, um, it would have said 2021 Gem at NAGAP Gem Summit. Um, if you didn't receive that email, let me know and we'll resend it to you. Check your spam, check your junk mail. Um, sometimes it gets caught in those filters. Uh, the email is really important because that's your link to Pathable. So make sure you have that email. Um, so you just click on the link here that says edit your speaker profile and you'll get a, a page that looks like this. You'll be asked to set up a password and this is your link to Pathable. So make sure you bookmark this page or bookmark the homepage. It's 2021nagap.pathable.co and you'll have access to that as soon as you set up your profile. Um, so once you receive the email, click on the link. Uh, you'll need to create your password um, and be sure to do all these pre-steps prior to uh, the day of your session. 
Um, we'd like for you to do it this week if you haven't done it yet. Um, uh, Sorry, attendees have access now to, to Pathable, so they can see your profiles. Uh, if you have a picture, post your picture. Um, and you should have in the description section here, you should have a bio already, but just check it, make sure it's accurate, make sure it's what you want to say. All right. So this is the home screen for Pathable. Once you, um, so this is the page I'll want to bookmark. Um, so moderators have their assignments. They should be reaching out to you as presenters if they haven't already to introduce themselves, let you know their role in your session. Um, each session also has a recorder. So they may be contacting you if you haven't posted your session or your handouts in Pathable yet, or we haven't, we didn't get them or we haven't posted them. They may be asking you for a copy of those so that they can write a summary of your session for perspective. So that'll be coming up soon too. All right, so you have the Pathable email, you've logged in, you have reviewed your speaker profile, added your picture. Now it's time for your session. So the day of, we just ask that you log in about 20 minutes ahead of time. Um, that allows you, your session moderator and your NAGAP or meeting staff person um, to have access to the session and you can talk about any logistical issues at that time. Let's see. So we'll go to the agenda. So to access your session, you go to schedule agenda and you can either add it to your schedule. If you wanna add it to your schedule, just hit this plus button. Um, and then it goes to your schedule and you just get to your schedule from schedule my agenda. And you can also add it to your calendar. We do not, we're not sending out Zoom links for this. You have to go to Pathable to access your session. Um, so you can add it to your schedule here, just add to calendar and it pops up whichever calendar you use. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. I am not a presenter. You all are this and I am not. So um, you're doing great. <laughs> thank you, Mary. Um, so once you get into your session, right here where this countdown is, there'll be a join now or start now button. And that's how you get to your session. So you'll, um, and that pops you into Zoom. And that's the only way to get to Zoom really um, is to go through this way. So if your session is, if, you're, if your session is a webinar, do not hit the start broadcast button. We'll do that once that we get started. Um, so, and we'll, the staff member who is assigned to your session, every session has a staff member, a moderator, and we'll take care of that piece. So during this 20 minutes, this 20 minute preview session, um, you'll go over logistics with your moderator. If you haven't done so already via email, Things like how do you want your how do you want questions posed to you? Um, do you want a time notification? Those sorts of things. Um, if your session was set up as a Zoom meeting, which that's anything that's a special interest forum, a um, advanced roundtable, um, any session that said we need we have interaction, we need a live session, all of those are set up as meetings. Let your staff member know during that 20 minutes as well if you're facilitating breakouts, if you need help with that, um, and they can help uh, facilitate that for you. Okay, so as a speaker, you'll be sharing your screen. So be sure you have your slides up and ready to go, just as you would for any Zoom presentation. Um, just remember to close all your other applications on your computer, turn off notifications, email, silence your phone, all right, so now it's session start time. So at about one minute prior to the start time of the session, attendees can start entering the session. Um, so we'll make the session uh, live at that point. Do you have a question, Denise? Yeah, I was just wanting to see, um, for those of us that are planning breakout rooms, is there mm -hmm. going, is, it's my understanding with Zoom, those have to be set up in advance. Is that gonna be done? Are we going to be doing potentially run-throughs with whoever our staff is like to make sure that those all go smoothly? Or is this gonna be like a crash run the day of and hope it all works? Um, it's kind of a crash run the day of, day of but if you want to do a run-through, let me know. 
Okay. And we can set that up. I know you guys have several, I know you guys have breakouts in your session and specific breakouts. So, and I'm the staff person assigned to your session. Oh, so okay. um, we can work that out. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so the session moderator has a script that they'll run through, uh, and I think I copied everybody on that just so you have an idea of when we'll get to your part after we get through some of the housekeeping things. So the session moderator will welcome everybody to the session, they'll cover the housekeeping info, they'll introduce you, and then they'll turn it over to you. And during that time, they'll uh, mute themselves, turn off their camera, um, and you'll be presenting just as you would in a typical Zoom meeting. Um, so while you're speaking, the moderator will be keeping an eye on the chat in Pathable, and they, that way they can pose the questions to you that come in through that. So at the end of the session, the moderator will thank you for your presentation, and we'll end pretty fairly abruptly, mainly because we're recording everything and we don't want to capture any back and forth between speaker, moderator, that sort of thing at the end. So the, the moderator will say, you know, thanks for, thanks for attending the session. Um, We'll pick up again in you know, 15 minutes or whenever the next session starts, be sure to join us then, and then we'll end it. Um, so sorry about that. It's a little bit, it's a little bit abrupt. Um, just be aware also, if you do run over, sessions automatically end 10 minutes after the published end time. So they'll just automatically cut off if you happen to run over. And that's uh, just a built-in safety that Pathable has, and there's nothing we can do to change it but I don't anticipate you all running over anyway. So if you're running out of time to answer questions at the end, um, I, my suggestion would be to go to chat. This chat feature right here is where all the questions will pop up. So just go there and answer anything that hasn't, that you haven't had the chance to answer. A couple of tips. So when you advance your slides, there may be a bit of a delay uh, four to five seconds, which seems like a really long time when you're presenting, um, but just give it a couple of extra seconds. I did a run through yesterday with some speakers and they, there was a, just a little bit of a lag there. So just give it a couple extra seconds. If you hit the advance button, nothing's happened, just give it an extra second or two. Um, for whatever reason, if you can't get into your session, text me or, um, or yes, text me. Um, my number is 913. 634-5920 and um, we'll, um, we have linked directly to the Pathable support so we can let them know that something's going on and they can send you the direct link to the Zoom. We don't know what those links are until we get on 20 minutes ahead of time. Um, so it's difficult, we can't supply those ahead of time. Christy, can you give your number one more time, please? Oh, 913 634 5920. Perfect. We also have a question, Christy, about the recording. Um, Amy wants to know, is it automatic that every session is recorded or can they opt out? It's automatic, but if you don't want your session recorded, just let your staff person know and they can shut it off. Okay. Another question from Dana. She wants to know, how should we prepare poll questions for special interest sessions? If you have polling questions, you as the speaker can go in here to the polling site and you can add questions. Um, I'm not a speaker on this one, so I can't do it. Um, but you should be able to add questions here yourself. If you have technical difficulty, just let me know, send me the polling questions and I'll, um, I can add them, that's not a problem. Um, and the last tip I had was if be sure you have your co-presenter cell phone numbers and moderators too, be sure you have your presenter cell phone numbers. If we're already in that 20 minute window and they're having issues getting in, that's probably the best way to contact, for them to contact you to let you know so you can let your staff person know and they can contact Pathable to ask for support. That's the other thing, your support is your NAGAP staff person. So, um, there is no pathable support person in every session. They come in to check to make sure everything's fine, but we're your link to pathable. So be sure to let us know if anything's going on. And that's all I had. Michelle had a question, which was, um, when will we find out what 
our Zoom link will be and who our moderator support staff will be. You should have gotten an email from me with the moderator and recorder list. Let me just make sure I sent that. I'll write that down. There is no Zoom link. So you go to Pathable. There is a Zoom link, but it, we don't get it until, because there are so many licenses, we don't know what it is until that 20 minute window. So you'd have to go to your, like in Zoom, you'd have to go in and click on wherever that little button is. That shows and that, you. Isn't that right that when we log in, we'll need to right click or do the ellipse on our name and change our name? Oh, yes. Yes, I yes. forgot about that. Um, so yes, everybody comes into the session as host 500 because it's just a general license. It doesn't know what your name is. So you'll have to rename yourself to whatever your name is. Christy, another question says, how does it work when you have polling questions loaded? Will they all show to the participants at the same time or can we queue them up when needed? Yes, they show all at the same time. The only reason that is partly, especially if you're in a webinar session, um, you, the only way for you, it's not as easy to communicate. They can't communicate back to you. So we just ask that you put them all in there. And I can't remember, there's one session that has polling questions. I'll show it to you so you can see what it looks like. Um, I can't remember what day it is though. Um, yeah, so they all show up at the same time. Can you show again um, how a person as a um, presenter would go to their uh, session and start presenting? Mm -hmm. Yep, so here, so you just enter here and then where this, um, where this countdown clock is, there is a, so you go to schedule agenda and then find the session on the agenda or you can add it to your schedule. Um, and where this countdown clock is, there is a, there'll be a join now or start now button. It'll say join now if someone else is already in there, it'll say start now if you're the first person. Um, and this is the session that has polls. So you can see they're all there and you can vote or answer. And this is also where you would answer, ask questions to the speaker, although we do ask that you use chat for that because it's a lot easier than looking under polls to answer questions. Anything else? Got a question, Christy, for the, the <laughs> chat feature there. So there's the chat feature in Pathable. Will the chat feature also be active if we're in a Zoom meeting room? No. We either we usually just act, deactivate it because we want you to use Pathable or we just, in the moderator script, it says to put the questions in Pathable, just so we capture it, because the recordings won't capture the, the chat in Zoom. And so when we're actually presenting in Zoom, we probably will not see the chat in Pathable unless we have multiple monitors with, with the stuff up exactly. on separate screens. Exactly, which I think is good because it's kind of distracting, especially people are saying hi to each other and you know, it scrolls pretty quickly. So it's kind of kind of distracting to the speaker, I think. Um, when will we receive access to Pathable to log in and work your profile or set schedule? You should already have that information if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so speakers should have that already. If you don't have the email, like I said, check your junk mail and then email me if you don't, if you haven't gotten it. Moderators, we put everybody in Pathable yesterday, so you should have gotten an email from us it, just as an, a, general, a general attendee yesterday um, with access or giving you the information for access. Um, again, if you didn't get it, let us know. And those are the emails from info at nagapp.org, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Christy says you mentioned not clicking start broadcast earlier, but said here to hit um, start now when we are the first one in are oh, these yeah. separate things. 
yeah, separate things. So hit start now or join now. And then if you're in a webinar session, I don't think it applies to meetings, but if you're in a webinar session, you'll see a, at the top of the screen, I'll say start broadcast. That's what starts the recording. So don't hit that once you're in Zoom. How will we add handouts to our presentation? Um, as you can go to, you can either send them to me or you can go to, um, I'm trying to think, files. And then if you're the, I actually think there's a manage button up here. If it's your session and you're listed as a speaker, there's a manage button up here and you can add um, files that way. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. I want to follow up again on the, sorry to, to go back to the chat question. I'm just kind of thinking this through in my head. So sure. when attendees come, if it's a, a Zoom meeting, then they're also going to click on that button to enter into the Zoom meeting. Is yes. that correct? So they yes. also at that point wouldn't see the pathable chat. Technically, no, you're right. So how would they chat their questions and comments to us as we're presenting? Well, and again, I mean, it's a meeting, so it's a little bit more informal. I guess I was just thinking about webinars, but for meetings, you could probably use the chat and, and um, Zoom if you need to. Okay. The advantage of using the chat in Pathable is that uh, everyone can see it for longevity. So if there's yeah. a simple question from someone who's using the platform after the event, they have the advantage of seeing responses in the Pathable platform versus someone who's viewing it, say, in six months and won't have that advantage. Exactly. Christy Michelle said when she goes to um, my manage button, it does not give her an option to do anything. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Um, you, can send them, you can send the handouts to me and I'll post them. That is perfectly fine. Or, or polls, if you want to add polls to your session, just let me know what session number it is. Christy, they can also send it to me just in case if, if you don't, if there's a lot of them. <laughs> Some of them, if you send the handouts to me ahead of time, they're already posted. Anything else? Yes, one more question. Is this the same place we go to other sessions that we're not speakers at, or do we get access to the conference in a different way? Same place. You just won't have that join now, start now button. And I will say for that, make sure you refresh. So if you go into a session two or three minutes early and then it gets to start time and nothing's happening, refresh your screen because that's probably the hiccup. And now is probably a good time to remind people um, for the um, agenda, you're going to have um, on-demand content. And then in the schedule under the agenda is the um, live content. So remember that those sessions, um, when you want to move in and out of them, will be in those two spots. And there's another question. Will, will we be able to move in and out of sessions? I guess she's, um, Denise, if you mean if you're in one and want to get out and go into another? Yes. The other thing about that is if you're in a session and you want to attend another one, it'll probably take, an, uh, I would say, a couple of hours for it to the recording to post. So it'll be there later too. Oh, I forgot about that. I kind of love that we can like check things out, you know, if we want to see multiple sessions yeah. in one grouping. To, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yes. See, there, there are great things about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll have access to this content for a while too. So it's not going to end, you know, the week of the conference, which will be nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll Christy. Make when the attendees are, um, I'm sorry, what? No, go ahead. 
I was just going to say when the attendees are here, the other thing is I've had a couple of questions about if they'll see cameras of the attendees or their faces. It depends. Again, if it's a webinar or a meeting. Webinar, no. Meeting, yes. If they choose to turn it on, yes. I think the, I just had one general comment. If during the event or a pre-event, Winnegap does have a booth in the exhibit hall. So if there's questions or things like that, um, feel free to contact us there or your staff person during your session. So there's someone uh, always available um, to help out. And we do have um, staff that will be on our main phone line during Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in case of an emergency or something else happens and you can't get a hold of one of your staff people. Christy, this is a dumb question, sorry, but the traditional sessions are webinar style or is it only webinar style for the like keynote stuff? Traditional sessions. So if, unless you said I have interactive content, it's probably a webinar. I know all the grant presentations are, your presentation with Mark Cunningham is, um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Some speakers did receive a booth invitation to set it up and that was an incorrect email from the system. So you can disregard the booth email. Um, you should go directly through the speaker email that you received. Do you have an update on the number of registered attendees? Yes. I can't remember what I sent you guys. I think yesterday, yesterday. We had 435 uh, attendees. So thank you guys for creating such presentations that draw all of our membership. We appreciate it. Have attendees received information on how to access the conference? Yes. <laughs> Just yesterday, though. Yeah. For PCI, for pre summit Institute, some of them received those this morning as well. But everyone should have those access emails now. If you have multiple, um, we call them ribbons. So if you're a speaker and you're also an exhibitor, that sort of thing, you'll see that in your profile as well. Um, I can answer Leslie's question. The chapter meetings are actually listed in the, uh, there's a chapters page within Pathable and they're linked within there. They're not on the calendar of events in Pathable. I don't see any other questions in the chat or do we have any other questions? I have a question, sorry. I just can't type fast enough. It's just easier to unmute myself, right? So Christy, is the, the bio in our profile, that description box, is that different than the, the speaker's bio provided to the moderators? It should be the same. Okay. It, it isn't. Sorry. I, I saw the information listed in my speaker bio provided to my moderator and recorder, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have the correct institution listed for me. Oh, I'll uh, fix it. Okay. I yeah. Uh, but I, I certainly noticed that the info did not line up between the two. Okay. It should. If we think it doesn't, should we just reach out to our moderator and say, hey, here's our correct bio? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. And then Matt, did you already fix yours or do you, I can fix it if you have it? Uh, I was just going to reach out to Ryan and let him know. Okay. I'll send it to him too. Thanks, Christy. Yep. Okay, out of curiosity, as I'm looking through the schedule, 
um, what opportunities do we have to network with each other? Like I see the virtual happy hour on Wednesday, but outside of that, what opportunities are there for us to, I mean, as Marcus kind of said, it's great to see everybody's faces, but it's not the same. And like, that's, you know, that's such a huge part of this conference is that networking piece. Like where, where do we get to do that in this, in this platform? So I think the easiest way, let me share my screen again. The easiest way to do that is probably, is probably through, um, I would say just contacting each other. There is a way for you to say, okay, I know Eva's coming to the conference. I wanna say hi to her. You can send her a message. You can also schedule a meeting with her and it shows her calendar. So whatever she has on her calendar um, would be listed here. Like if she's set up her profile and, and chosen sessions, those would be listed here. So you know when she's not available, um, that's probably the easiest way. And you can add a bunch of people. Like if you, you know, Cammie's coming, you wanna add Cammie, you wanna add, you know, whoever, um, you can do that. That's probably the easiest way. Christy, do you want to show them the conversations tab? Yeah, yeah. So you can also just start conversations. I think, I feel like this is kind of like the exchange where you can just um, yeah. chat about whatever you want to talk about. And then you can also say, hey, we want to meet up. We're going to meet up at this time. Join us if you want to. And you can schedule things like that. And would we schedule like Zoom links and stuff? and such outside and then post Zoom links in there. It gives you an, yeah. so if you set up a specific meeting with somebody, it'll it'll set a Zoom meeting for you. Okay. Yeah, you do that through the platform. Yeah. Okay. So if you notice someone's available and you're available and you're like, hey, let's chat, you can automatically just open a room for you too. And then you can invite anyone else who's active to join that meeting with you. Cool. Hey, thanks. Christy, could you send a bullet point list or is there an FAQs about some of the things that you discussed as tips? I can. Yep. Thank you. And Michelle says she has not received several of the emails, so she sent you an email if you could follow okay. up with her. Perfect. And Virginia asked to clarify, how do we know if our live session has a breakout room functionality? They all should be in a Zoom, correct? Well... The meetings do. The Virginia meeting. session does not because it's set up as a webinar. Ah, okay. And should it have a marker on the schedule? No, oh, she got it. We're good. Yeah, if you guys come up with any other questions or things like that, or you get questions from attendees, just, just let us know. We're, we're here to help and answer those questions for you. So don't hesitate to reach out. No, no questions too small, because we've probably asked it ourselves. Thanks everyone for your hard work on this. I know it's a lot of work. Thank you, Christy. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much. We'll see you all next week. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Stay safe, everybody. So we're going to stay on Mary for the PSI. So you don't have to stay if you don't. Okay. Want. All right. I am going to jump <laughs> off then. All right. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Awesome. I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> Thanks for that, Christy. That went great.